We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. A good matchup here for you tonight between the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Eddie James, the National League's batting leader, continues his campaign for a batting crown. Next. Dario Agrizal, the Panamanian right-hander, will get the nod here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you take a look at this guy's ERA. Any ERA under four is pretty good in this day and age of baseball. When we have all these high-scoring, high-flying affairs, this guy knows how to pitch. He knows how to control the running game. And most Double. importantly... Three. Ready now, Eddie James. He's had a phenomenal year at the batting plate throw. entering this August no contest as the league's Eddie. batting average leader. I've never been in this position in my career before. I wonder if he's counting games down. You certainly want to walk away at the end of the year with a batting crown. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, now here's a drive out to the alley. Come on, dig, dig, come on, come dig, on, dig, 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 dig. The relay. The tag, and he's out going for third. But we do have a tie ball game now with a run scoring on the play. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because. Digging in for his second at bat, Eddie James. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, and he certainly got the wheels trying to stretch a double into a triple. But it's sort of a kill. Meanwhile here, this ball's given a pretty good ride out to deep left field. And that is going to clear the wall. A home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as they take the lead four to three. Well, d -Row, you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to... Now to the plate, the pitcher, Mackenzie now, Gore. Down, the pitcher, Mackenzie Gore. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. In the air, out to straightaway left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Padres down in order. Score holds at 4-3. Striding in once oh, again, Eddie James. Already oh, two for two. He'll look to add Eddie. on right here. Yeah, man, this guy flexed his muscles on that last at bat. We heard that he has good power. That last bomb had to go well over 400 feet. He hit it a long way. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And they'll tack on an insurance strike with the sack fly as they lead now 5-3. to three. Great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Into the box, Eddie James earned himself an RBI with a sack Eddie. fly his last time at the plate. Come on. First Everybody offering on its way. Liner on, in there on, for no, a no, base no. hit. Make the this turn, is going to kick the off the fence now out in front of the Arizona bullpen. And the run will score all the way from first. It's hey, an 8 to 3 it. ball game. And case in point why he's one of the best bats in the business as he's aboard for the third time today. He has had so many multi hit games this year. Why are we surprised he mixed in another three hit performance? I expect this guy to finish now strong. Back. That and fight for the batting title up until That's his fair. last at bat. Runner breaks for third. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. So three runs on three hits, no errors, and a man left. We're through six full. It's the Diamondbacks eight and the Padres three.
New inning set to get underway, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Nico Horner. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. In there, a base hit. Standing in and working on a fantastic game, Eddie James. He has seven runs driven into his name so far. First pitch of the at bat. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Find the ball, find the ball, find the ball. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. And he's now secured his fourth knock of the day. Even for him, this has been a great performance at the plate. Warning, warning. Somebody wants a batting title. People better wake up. Guys around him, they're going to check the box score and start to panic a little bit. A four-knock game is pretty special. From the belt, the pitch. Runner goes for second. Heading out towards shallow right. Masio has it and I'd be surprised if they send the runner stepping into the box Will Benson third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point the 0 2 delivery hit back up the middle on to first and the Diamondbacks are turned away as the inning is over no runs a hit two left ninth inning coming up it's the D-backs nine and the Padres four. Well, that's win number 90 on the season for them so far, and they've been a force on the field all year long. And by the looks of it, they're not done yet. And this ball game ends at a 9-4 to four final score. Arizona with their 90th win best in the division. Dario Agrizal earns his 12th victory in the ball game. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, nine runs on 13 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks have now won five consecutive games. They'll aim to continue their winning streak next. Casey Mize, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. Dan, any thoughts? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. One of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Into the box now, Eddie James. He was a perfect four for four in last night's game. First offering on its way. Here's a shot to left field and deep. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to left, so he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Diamondbacks strike first. It's one to nothing. There are certain guys in every lineup that you do not want to beat you. And this guy right now is swinging the bat so well, I'm not giving him a chance to do anything. He's too hot right now. Ready to go for the last half of the we inning. Go. We're coming five, forward five. the veteran outfielder, the Eddie fielder. James. Eddie. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be troubled. Come on, dig. Go hard. Go through dig, first and dig, hustling dig. for second. And he'll get there as the Diamondbacks get a man into scoring position on the leadoff double. So that's his second knock of the game, and you can add this to his ever-growing list of multi-hit performances this season. Does this guy ever look bad at the dish? I mean, really doesn't. Fighting for a batting crown, throwing out multi-knock games daily. It's going to be a fight to the finish right here. Runner goes for third, and he'll step off. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. Run, run, run. One, one. And now the runner's trying for third. But right there to glove it is the shortstop out. for the first out. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. At the plate, the Eddie James will no try to follow up the double Eddie. in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to A.B. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. So it's a two-run shot to right center. His second of the game as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Now at the plate, Cole Roederer over oh, two for him to this point. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Jack Ramirez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ramirez. Pulls this one in the air out to left. James will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They're down by a touchdown, 7 nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eddie James. Two home runs and a double to his credit thus far, having quite the game. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around, and it got out of here in a hurry. Hit hard on the ground a second, and that's through for a hit. And he's now secured his fourth knock of the day. Even for him, this has been a great performance at the plate. Warning, warning. Somebody wants a batting title. People better wake up. Guys around him, they're going to check the box score and start to panic a little bit. A four-knock game is pretty special. That's a strike to throw down. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. I like the aggressiveness with two strikes to put the runner in motion. Sometimes that can backfire, and it can turn into one of those strike him out, throw him out double plays, but he was able to get there safely at second. number 19. Digging in to try it again, Keston Hiura. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Runners on his way to third. High go, in going, the air going, out towards going. shallow right. Masio is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Only one in the inning for Arizona. Eighth inning coming up. D backs out in front, 8 to nothing. And that'll bring up the catcher, now Chance back. Cisco. No hits in Damn. three tries so far. He struck out once. San Diego down to their final strike. 
And this ball's in the air to left field, and this should do it. Oh, and he misses it. This is going to kick off the fence now out in front of the Arizona bullpen. Cut, cut, cut four. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, and he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Man, that was a comedy. Of you can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row, and this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. 8-1 to one is the final tonight. Arizona jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Casey Mize records the victory his 13th of the year as he finishes seven innings allowing only one hit. Ryan Weathers permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for the ball game tonight. First for the victorious Diamondbacks, eight runs, nine hits, two errors, and they left three men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the San Diego Padres and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The D-backs aim to notch their seventh win in a row right after this. Corbin Martin is on the mound for the Diamondbacks. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that, but this guy's a better pitcher than that ERA that indicates. Expected. The left fielder, number seven, Cole Roeder. The 2-1. Swing and he pops him up, and that's in there. Base hit. Now at the plate, Rowdy Tellez. He's definitely a long ball threat, currently third in the National League in that category. You know, D, we're a war into the summer right now. This guy's power's been off the charts. Looks like he's going to be able to do this all season long. I think he is, Dan, and the ball's going to start flying now. Weather's starting to warm up in certain parts of the country. We're getting into the middle, late part of summer. You're going to see some epic home runs down the Striding in, Eddie James. He went deep last night twice. Eddie James. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Come on, come on, go, 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 He's around first, heading for two. And that'll stay in the park as it's off the center field wall. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And the streak will continue as he creeps even higher up the all-time list. Hey, now into the 30s, yeah. D-Road. Do you think he starts looking ahead, 100%. thinking about that magic number, maybe getting it to 40? Yeah, I don't think you ever worry about Joe D's number, but when you start climbing into the 30s, man, there's not many guys that have been there. This is just a steady diet of staying in the zone for over a month. Now to the plate, Will Benson. And now the Diamondbacks look to push more across in the opening frame. Spinning a throw back to second. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Hey, let her fly, kid. Let her fly. And the runner's breaking for third. Got him swinging the throw. And he'll be tagged out trying to steal third. And that just doesn't make much sense as the inning is over. Second inning set to go. And standing in the outfielder, Hunter Bishop. Hunter In the air now, out to left. James has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So stepping in, Gabriel Masio, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. That's lifted the other way out to left. James comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. And no tag at second, he'll head back. Digging in now for San Diego, Javier Baez. Javier Baez. Hey, nobody away. Now that's pop.
popped up. Lewis is there and he's got it for the first down. So first and second with one now man back. gone. Yeah. And that'll bring up the catcher yeah. Chance Cisco. Here it comes 0 and 2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. James is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. But he gets back in time safe at second base. Bottom of the Lead inning up. now and standing in is the veteran outfielder Eddie James. First delivery to him on the way. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Into on, center field, it, line it. drive, base hit. So it's a base knock to lead off their half of the fourth. Well, Dero, one hit away from that magic number, 3,000 base hits. I can't even imagine what's going through this guy's head right now. You think back all the way to Little League, the people that have touched your life, right knowing here. you're one number knock away, 15. family in attendance, this is a special time. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Pitch inside the throw, not in time. He's in there at second. The one two. Runner goes for third. Offered and missed. Here's the throw. He's in time as he gets the tag down, and he's out trying to take third. In now, Eddie now James. Back. He Let's singled his last time up. First delivery to him on the way. Swing, and there it goes. He got all of this one. Gone! So it's a two run shot to right center. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate as the D backs have now taken a three to nothing lead. What a week for these guys. Talk about firing on all cylinders. Winners of an amazing seven games in a row. They say to never question the streak, and these guys aren't. They're just enjoying this ride. 3-0 the final score in this one today. The Arizona Diamondbacks jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Corbin Martin records the victory his 13th of the year. Blake Walston earns the save out of the bullpen his 48th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball.